We have been rushed into today's championship game, and we can't wait. The eighth overall seed, the Texas A&M Aggies, have knocked off Florida and Auburn and Arkansas, and now they're going to deal with a sea of orange. Rocky Top is in town and representing Tennessee and Rick Barnes trying to win for the first time since 1979 an SEC tournament title. That's Boots Radford has been shooting so well from three-point land. Well, the Aggies shooting 51% from three in this building so far in the tournament. Chandler turns around, says, I'll shoot it, and he does. These two teams met. That size is a real question mark for the Aggies in this game. That is for sure. Tennessee shot almost 58%. Foul and a bucket. Josiah Jordan James. And the whistle against Quentin Jackson. Satility of James, man. He can take your point guard out or your four guy. So good at physical body and clean hands as a defender. Wide open three. Bam. Yep. That size of Tennessee, you talk about it yesterday, he can just overwhelm a lot of opponents. And Chandler, that's no good, but Huntley Hatfield, an easy pick. And Vescovy, that was right on. He knocks down a three. Ziegler, they control it all. Huntley Hatfield with a tremendous height advantage over Boots Radford, so he backs in and uh, throws the turnaround jumper up that rattles around the rim and drops. Five heavy team. That's how they've gotten to the championship game. a and seen this act before. Auburn tried it against them with all those threes, and that's what killed the Tigers that day. That time Coleman takes it inside. And Tennessee's got multiple guys that they can flash in there, and they use multiple guys. Well done. Really good, and Adu has continued to develop. That time he used the left to go off the window. And for Quentin Jackson, he's had some highlight plays for AM during this tournament. A big block from behind and some rim rattling dunks as well. That's him with the ball. He dishes to Coleman, who powers inside and flips it up and in. Coleman cuts in the lane. Misses that, follows it up, puts it back up and in. He's fouled. Knocks out by Quentin Jackson. Every time he has a chance, he wants to push. Came back to his senior year, and that's just a challenge of Fulkerson, and he bided him out of the way, and just like that, AM is right back in this game. That's all. And people will say AM missing threes is tired legs. AM will never say that, no matter what happens in this game. Henry Chandler so smooth, knocks down a three. Ten Auburn on a neutral floor, Arkansas on a neutral floor. There's teams on that list that don't have those four quality wins. I think the Aggies are in tremendous shape regardless. Good play out of break. That's Fulkerson. It's just a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story of selflessness as Fulky dunks it from Ball Nation and from the SEC fan base. A little difficult on AM. Ziggler blow by Alley Oop, a little too tall for Huntley Hatfield. Got a score right now for AM. Jackson blocked from James. Coleman there, and he lays it up and in. Chandler, he's made a couple, knocks yeah. down another one. Kennedy Chandler hot from the outside time. Ziggler trying to force that one to James. Would have been better off pulling it back out. Taylor wide open, Coleman, and he's got 10. But to my point about AM, they understand they've got numbers. We gotta go there. Now what a tremendous ball coach Seth Greenberg was and still is if you wanted to do it. But he lived the life on the bubble for a long time. Now James yeah. throws it up, soft touch there. So strong, isn't he? SEC tournament title on the line. It's Radford, who's been so good this week, hasn't got on track, and there you go. That's how you start the second half with his first points and a drive to the hole. You try to... Chandler had nine to lead the way. Josiah Jordan James had eight. They find Plapchitz. That's a good interior pass by Huntley Hatfield. Vescovy got it. Where was the defense when he caught it? Now that's a bad pass turnover and a two on one. Jackson, he lays that up and in. Quentin Jackson, and it's to AM. Huntley Hatfield's coming out. That's not the shot that Rick Barnes wanted. Fulkerson checking in at the next dead ball. Bradford, uh oh. Bradford's got five here in the second half. His first three goes down. Like a free safety who got a good read on the ball. And now he'll try to bury a three. And he does. Fulkerson, nope. Hefner got a hand on it. Now Chandler with the advantage. Vescovy steps to his right, buries a three. Got everything but the make. Quentin Jackson 
may have to take over this game. Taylor draws contact, throws it up, no foul. Back to the basket, back you down. Taylor pull up three, knocks that down right in front of Buzz Williams. That'll get him going. Within 11, Ziegler sees Chandler go to the corner, then he dumps it to Fulkerson, who drops it for James. Not easy to do. Taylor, oh, did he get away with an extra step or what? Special. Ziegler, got it! Right in front of the bench, high arcing three, Zakai Ziegler. They will never nope. go there nope. after the game. It's just not part of their fabric. It's not who they are, and I love that about the Aggies. James will launch. That's good, and they do have the legs, and they are burying threes. That's going to be in James. They may not be a one seed, but no one looks more like a one seed on Selection Sunday than Tennessee right now. All right, Radford, Hardy, Escobi. Chandler always on the move, and he will kick to James, who will launch again. Josiah Jordan James. He hit four in a row in a game earlier this week. Radford just ran into that wall again. Cash can't get it to go. Tries again and finally puts it up and in. Vescovy dumps it off and Fulkerson with a big time flush. He cannot drive the ball all game long. There's one as I say it, but that's been very rare. Radford and Coleman, the only two Aggie players in double figures. That is a three, and it's good for Boots Radford. Sheenan. Looking at a potential national champion finishing off this game. Now Chandler lays it up and lays it in. He'll get fouled. Barring a shot here to keep it going. But Rick Barnes and the Tennessee Volunteers all raise their shirts. They are the SEC Tournament Champions. Their defense held AM to a season low 50 points, and the celebration now can begin on the court. 